Hello and welcome to IBM Presents The Leader's Code, a series aimed at bringing senior executive teams from India's prominent corporations to uncover their leadership code and showcase how they're guiding their organization's transformation journey. The BFSI sector in India is rapidly changing and for the better. With the evolution of innovative new age technologies like artificial intelligence, machine learning and more, banks are reimagining customer experiences driving improved efficiencies and undertaking sustainable banking initiatives. In the first episode of the series, we saw how the leadership team at Canara Bank is enabling this technology-led transformation. The spotlight in this episode is on the leadership team from the Union Bank of India. My colleague Ritu Singh is in conversation with them. Let me welcome the senior leaders from Union Bank of India and technology expert IBM as well on this panel, starting with Mr. Sandeep Patel, uh, the Managing Director at IBM India, Mr. Nidhu Saxena, Executive Director at Union Bank of India, Rajiv Mishra, Chief General Manager IT at Union Bank, Nitesh Ranjan, Executive Director at Union Bank of India, and Anil Kuril, Chief Technology Officer at Union Bank of India. Uh, Mr. Ranjan, let me begin with you, because you know it's a rapidly changing environment for the banking industry. How has it evolved over, you know, uh, over time and what role is technology playing in this evolution and how do you put all this together to chart your vision for Union Bank of India? Today, the banking sector is evolving with the support of the technology. But before that, let me tell you that India today overall is in a very sweet spot. So if we look at some of the trends which is shaping this, the first itself is the initiatives which are being taken by the government of India. Whether you talk of the National Infrastructure Pipeline, National Monetization Pipeline, Gati Shakti. And simultaneously, if you look at how the government and the regulators have been shaping for the new level of growth in the economy, particularly on the entire India digital stack, whether it is Aadhaar, UPI, Account Aggregator, now getting into OKEN and ONDC world, a lot of transformation is happening. Another trend which is going to influence banking is about the customer preference, which is shifting very, very uh, fast, along with the new set of customers from the millennials and Gen Z's generation as coming and their expectations are quite different because they are experiencing a different level of service delivery uh, in the different uh, platforms, whether it is into pharma or the FMCG segment. And today they are expecting the similar, that what we call the Amazon kind of experience with in banking, banking well. also. Yeah. So that's a key challenge, but also a great opportunity for uh, for the banks. Uh, if we look at India's $5 trillion economy uh, goal, the $3 trillion is itself coming from the digital economy. So that's how the entire banking and digital are intertwined. So today in the Union Bank of India, we have set for ourselves very ambitious goal of reaching 1% of ROA, 40% of CASA, becoming among the top three PSBs over the next two, three years. And for that, we have created right enablers right from onboarding the customers, the service delivery, and the monitoring, and collection system. Everywhere we are bringing more and more technology. So to say, in my sense, banking, and particularly for Union Bank of India, digital data analytics, this is going to reshape the banking hmm. of the future. It's unavoidable now, really, yes, isn't truly. it? Uh, Mr. Sandeep Patel, you know, you've been working with banks, not just in India, across the world. So tell us about some of the new technologies that are emerging that are impacting the industry, especially after the pandemic. I think there are fundamental trends in banking that are shifting because of technology. The first one, and actually I'll just uh, pick up on what was said earlier about hyper-personalization. I think we are living in a world which is uh, uh, digital ecosystems all around us. And within those, you have digital citizens. By 2025, uh, 30 to 40% of all banks will be using some form of responsible hyper-personalization, almost as a competitive weapon to compete in the marketplace. The second domain, which I think is very relevant, is how do you establish sustainable and robust operations for the bank, which are secure, you know, cybersecurity is going to be a huge uh, uh, issue, particularly with hyper-digitization, right? But having robust operations where you are actually using technologies like artificial intelligence, automation, mm -hmm. and others to, to build operations that are agile enough to shift business models 
depending on how the market is evolving. And the last point I'll say, and this is something where India, I believe, is a leader in this space, is digital payments. So this is a domain that I think will continue to evolve and scale up. And this is an area which India actually has an opportunity to continue to sort of march ahead with its leadership position and really scale this whole dom domain. So let me hyper-personalize this next question. We've been speaking about technology a lot. What are you at Union Bank of India doing in terms of specific products and offerings? And how do you see them help drive the bank's growth in future? I think Mr. Ranjan alluded to some kind of targets. How is technology helping you achieve those? Today, uh, I can share that uh, out of our total transactions that are happening, 78% of transactions are happening digitally and 22% transactions in the bank, they are actually happening in the branch network. So uh, uh, before I talk of the specifics, what uh, Union Bank has done in the uh, uh, technology and digital areas, the new products, the new services that have been enabled using the technology, uh, uh, I like to just uh, list them out uh, in the asset side and in the liability side. So in the liability side, if it's an account opening, so uh, SB account today can be opened digitally using the video KYC. Yeah. Somebody can come on my mobile app and do the uh, account opening also digitally. So end to end process is digital. When I come to the asset side, in the asset side, we have started end to end digital journeys in dispensing credit too. So uh, if it's a Shishu Mudra loan up to 50,000, uh, the, uh, the prospects are not visiting my branches. So they are able to log on to uh, the process, which is the end to end digital and the account uh, is sanctioned and it is dispersed, uh, money is dispersed to their accounts. Okay, so I'm going to ask Mr. Kuril, since he looks at technology, to tell us a little bit more about some of these uh, digital initiatives and technologies that the bank is implementing and how uh, they're sort of impacting business uh, day to day. When we look at the Union Bank of India, technologies are not implemented only for the technology purpose. Whenever we are implementing any technology, we are, there are basic set of questions we actually ask. And what are, what is the problem statement which we are trying to solve? Will it improve the productivity, will it improve the uh, ROI, will it reduce the cost of operation, will it secure that bank as a whole or the customer per se. Now these are the matrices which we use while deciding on the technology which technology to be used. Now on the one set before deploying the technology we are evaluating the technology and once we are satisfied with that part then we are deploying it. Now looking at the Union Bank of India since we have a entire gamut of customer which is ranging from the rural to the GNG customer. Now this kind of a, a bank which we are having now all this segment we have to serve it. Now in order to serve this customer you need a broad range of a technology which need to be put in place. Now looking at the strategy which we have adopted that is so as a bank we have there are basic tenant which are which we have adopted as a part of a digital strategy. One is a digital first that any product and services which are going to come for Union Bank of India, they have to be first on the digital part of it. Second, the technology which we are putting, whether it is improving the productivity or not. So this is the second part of a tenant. Third part is that, will it making the life of a customer easy or not? So these are the basic things for our digital strategy which we have adopted on this part of it. Well, it's time for a quick break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 